Hey guys, Coach Reginald Sweet here, Boys and Girls Clubs of Mitchell County, and I am the Teen Center Unit Director. Listen, summer is here, and I know you're going to be out in the yard, you're going to be playing, you're going to be hanging out with your brothers and sisters, you're going to be doing all kind of activities, and when you're finished, you are going to want a snack. And sometimes, let's face it, you just don't want a store-bought snack. So today, Coach Sweet is going to show you how to make a snack right in your kitchen, and it's delicious. We're going to show you how to make a mug chocolate brownie, microwavable. Yes, it's quick, simple, and easy with just a few ingredients. So let's go inside and make our mug chocolate brownie. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get a mug from out of the counter. And now we're going to measure one fourth cup of all purpose flour. We want to make sure we measure it exactly because we do not want to put too much in and we don't want to leave any out. After our one fourth cup of flour, now we will measure one fourth cup of sugar. Again, let's measure correctly. Next, we want to get two tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder. The cocoa powder is kind of thick, so actually we want to make sure we measure that as well, too. After that, we will get one eighth teaspoon of baking soda. Now, if you want to know the difference between a teaspoon and a tablespoon, the teaspoon is the smaller spoon, the one we usually eat cereal with. And an eighth of a teaspoon fills up just the bottom part of the spoon. Next, we would get one eighth teaspoon of salt. And again, you want to measure correctly because you don't want to put too much in. Then we will mix. You want to mix it real good. Now, our next group of ingredients will be the liquid ingredients. This will be two tablespoons of milk. Now, here we use lactate milk, but it's recommended that you use 2% milk instead. Then the next ingredient will be two tablespoons of canola oil. Next, we will measure one tablespoon of water. And now, our final liquid ingredient will be one fourth teaspoon of vanilla abstract. This time, we're mixing all of our dry ingredients with all of our wet ingredients. And we want to get a good mix in because we do not want any of our dry ingredients not to be mixed well with the wet ingredients. Mmm, looks good already. Then we want to microwave for one minute, 45 seconds. After the one minute 45 seconds is over with, take it out of the microwave and let cool. After it's cool, you're ready to take your first big bite. Mmm. You have just made your first microwavable mug brownie. This has been Coach Reginald Sweet, Boys and Girls Clubs of Mitchell County Teen Center Unit Director. Have a good day.